sveicināti visiem Latvijā. Eiropas tiesiskā sadarbības tīkla. Good morning everyone in Latvia in the 44th plenary session of the European Judicial Network. I hope that today's uh, meeting will be very productive, not only because of uh, what we do together, but also because of the nice weather conditions. As far as I know, uh, yesterday you got the opportunity to, to get to know each other and to see the Riga city. And starting from today, we are, we are starting work, the plenary session. You have the agenda available. And the first uh, speaker will be uh, Justice Minister Dintars Rasnach. Thank you. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I have a great honor to greet you at the 44th uh, plenary meeting of the European Judicial Network, which uh, takes place within the presidency of uh, Latvia in Riga. The first, uh, these, these six months have been very busy for us, also for Latvia as the presiding uh, country at the Council of the European Union. Uh, during the presidency, we have managed uh, to find uh, compromises in many issues concerning uh, judicial uh, cooperation. The first one is uh, Eurojust regulation. Uh, secondly, uh, the directive on uh, uh, judicial uh, aid. Uh, the third one is the presumption of innocence. Uh, then the directive uh, on uh, on the children suspected of crime, as well as uh, as well as uh, progress that we have attained uh, on the regulation by the European uh, Prosecutor's Office uh, working on the 16, first 16 uh, paragraphs. I believe that uh, the achievements uh, we have uh, accomplished uh, during the presidency for all of us uh, practicing uh, lawyers, uh, policemen, and uh, uh, justice ministries and other institutions and agencies, for us it will will give, will give uh, more opportunities for cooperation. It will promote uh, combating uh, cooperation, uh, terrorism and uh, crime in a more successful uh, way. Due to changing uh, the place of residence of uh, persons who are allowed to move freely, the number of those persons who live outside their residence country has increased. And very often, uh, when these uh, persons commit crime and are called to criminal liability, according to the uh, Council uh, framework, framework meeting on mutual recognition of, uh, of sentences in criminal cases, as well as uh, the European, European order uh, or uh, 1983 uh, European uh, Council Convention on uh, Convicted uh, Persons. There is the possibility uh, to transfer uh, sentences uh, to the country of uh, nationality of the person or the country uh, with which the person has uh, the strongest ties. And considering the above mentioned, uh, the, the persons uh, in the center of this discussion will be uh, will be um, uh, sentenced persons, as well as uh, uh, their transfer, uh, with the aim uh, to uh, to apply sentences, as well as uh, legal uh, cooperation for uh, transferring. Uh, as sentenced persons and uh, the European uh, arrest uh, order as well as uh, 
uh, as well as the issues uh, concerning uh, uh, concerning um, the above mentioned. I wish you everyone to have a very productive uh, plenary session as well as to enjoy our beautiful uh, city and especially our beautiful resort town, Yurmala. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Minister. The next uh, speaker will be uh, Latvian uh, Prosecutor General Erik Kalmeyers. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I have a great honor to greet you in the capital city of the Republic of Latvia. I would like to uh, stress in my speech, uh, as the minister men mentioned as well, that uh, we are going to approach the end of a very important uh, work cycle uh, linked to the Latvian presidency at the Council of the European Union. I would like to note that we have uh, accomplished uh, huge huge amounts of work during this time of course it's not good to praise oneself but uh, I must uh, say that uh, the concerns that we had and the fears that we had didn't actually uh, prove to be true in reality that this discussion will be the most important uh, finalizing event in our cooperation and I hope that uh, this event and also tomorrow's uh, uh, conference will take place at a very high organizatory, organizational level as well as uh, the, that the content will be uh, very valuable, the knowledge that you uh, will gain that will promote uh, uh, the work of the European Judicial Network in the future. It is especially important in this uh, at this time when the world is facing radicalization and uh, terrorism threats and all countries no matter how far away they are in Europe or how many European countries they have at their borders none of the countries can be sure that they are safe and do not have any terrorism threats. Thus, uh, the countries that are aware of uh, uh, human rights values and other uh, community values, uh, it is important for them to provide a peaceful life. Thus, uh, it is a duty, the duty of uh, uh, judicial uh, cooperation institutions and they have to accomplish it by cooperating uh, broadly. I think that we can accomplish it. We can agree on subjects uh, where it also seemed impossible in the beginning. It was brought by the, the work of the European Prosecutor's Office. In the beginning, it seemed uh, the mission impossible for the member states to agree on uh, some basic principles. The same mentioned uh, judicial, uh, judicial issues. Jurisdiction is one of the basic uh, issues, uh, uh, values of the state foundation. And thus uh, the establishment of uh, EPO, the first uh, 16 uh, paragraphs are in the form that the member states would like to actually see this document. And this document has uh, significantly advanced. I think that uh, at the end of this conference today and also tomorrow, we will be able to say uh, the same thing that we have agreed on, uh, on issues that are important for our further cooperation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kalmeyers. The next uh, speaker will be um, the head of the Secretariat uh, uh, of uh, the European uh, Judicial Network.
Um, also, me would like to take this opportunity to uh, welcome you here in Riga. Uh, we're very pleased to, to have you here, uh, Oh, It's very nice to meet you. Um, it's actually the first uh, meeting for me, uh, the, the real plenary meeting uh, in my position as the, uh, as the secretary. I've been working for half a year now, as you may know. Uh, so 1st of December I started. Um, uh, we have already had two meetings um, uh, this year, so the regular meeting and the tool correspondent meeting. But this is really, uh, I would say, one of the biggest events during the year when we have the opportunity to meet in, in the member state having a presidency. So it's, it's really nice to, to see you all here. Um, later, a bit later this morning, uh, we will, from the Secretariat, go into more in detail what we have been doing. Uh, this year and also give you an overview what we are uh, going to do this year. So this will come a little bit later. Um, so uh, to, to, to uh, make you understand that what, what's happening. Uh, actually, uh, that was also one of the reasons why we uh, started issuing uh, the EGN newsletter to you as, uh, as more of an internal information to you as contact points. Um, to give you uh, not only when we meet like this information on what we are doing, but also on a more continuous basis to, to inform you uh, on, on what's going on and what's happening. Uh, and I hope that you appreciate this, uh, this way of informing you. I, I think so. That's uh, at least the feedback that we got <laughs> so far. Um, my aim and ambition in my term of office, uh, which is uh, for four years now, um, it is to, uh, to uh, continue to uh, see to that we as contact points, as networks are, uh, are uh, developing in our roles as contact points. Uh, there are areas that I will look upon. I will look upon also how we are working at the Secretariat uh, more closely, uh, the functioning of EGN as such, of course, as I said, uh, where we in close cooperation with both the presidencies to come and also in the so-called trio we'll, we'll work together on this. Um, the website is, of course, something of, of uh, importance for us. Uh, we are, uh, we are uh, uh, making efforts to make it even, even better. Uh, I will come back to also a bit later on uh, what is happening uh, regarding the, uh, uh, the migration of the website into the eJustice portal a little bit later. Uh, another topic of importance is, of course, also the, uh, the, how, how Eurojust and EGN is working with the, its respective uh, caseload. So, and and uh, this is also something that I will come back to uh, and explain a little bit more. I can say already now that we had a very fruitful meeting in the, uh, uh, in the meeting of the uh, uh, joint working group uh, EGN and Eurojust yesterday. Uh, where we were discussing about the, uh, the joint uh, or the action plan for taking care of the recommendations that are addressed to um, EGN to take care of us, uh, recommendations from the member states. So uh, we will report back a bit more thoroughly about that a bit later also. Uh, what we want to also develop here uh, from the Secretariat is uh, to have a more operational support to you when it comes to the cooperation with, uh, with the third countries and the other judicial networks uh, uh, around the world. So this is something that we will uh, uh, continue to work on uh, also in terms of operational supports when it comes to the contact details of our colleagues outside of EU. I think as, that's also my experience myself as contact points that what you need is actually uh, instant information. You, you don't want to, to have to search for the information. It should be there rather instantly. So we are working on, the, on uh, improving that on, on the website. I, I will show it a little bit later here also. Um, uh, in my view, I think that EGN has an will still have a very important role when it comes to uh, assisting national authorities in judicial cooperation. Um, there are new instruments, as you know, um, and one of them we are going to discuss later on today in the workshops, uh, and we will also hear about uh, another one uh, tomorrow, the European Protection Order. 
And uh, as you know, you who have been starting working with the new instruments, you, you have seen that the, the new instruments, they are good because they are making progress in the possibilities to, uh, to improve the cooperation. At the same time, they are rather detailed and they, uh, they demand a, a functioning a communication channel between the national authorities. There are uh, quite a lot of uh, need for notifications uh, in, in several of the uh, uh, new instruments, for instance, uh, the supervision order, but also the, the framework decision that we are going to talk about uh, this afternoon, the, the transfer of prisoners framework decision. So here I see a very important role for us as EGN contact point to, to really support the national authorities in, uh, um, uh, in, in working with the new instruments in practice. Uh, this is a responsibility that we should really uh, uh, focus on now for the future and, and show that, that we are really needed, uh, which we, we actually are. Um, I would say that also in relation to uh, the uh, strengthening of Eurojust and, and the coming uh, European Public Prosecutor's Office, it will be very important for us as EGN to maintain our role as being the ones uh, making the daily business of prosecutors working. So, so we are, our strength is, is actually to, to make the everyday life of, of all practitioners in the member states to, to, to be able to cooperate with the, with the, with the colleagues uh, on the other side of the border. So here is really our, our strength and something that we, that we need to develop and see to that we are working at our best. Uh, of course, also the functioning of U.S. contact points relies a bit also on how, how we are performing at the EDN Secretariat, and, and this is something that I will work on to see to that we, we can do as much as, uh, as we can and, and meet also the expectations from you. That's my, uh, my, clear, uh, my clear ambition, I can say. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward for the discussions today. We have interesting presentations, both on the uh, framework decision on the transfer of proceedings, uh, sorry, the transfer of prisoners, uh, and uh, also on the European Protection Order. And uh, we have a nice weather, we have a nice venue. Uh, uh, thank the uh, Latvian Presidency for a really nice uh, organization of this meeting. Uh, and uh, I wish us all the good luck with uh, our discussions and, and uh, hopefully good, uh, fruitful outcome of the meeting. Thank you very much. Paldies. Un tagad mēs, uh... Uh, thank you. And uh, now we move on to the next point of our agenda.